Good evening and welcome back to In My Mama's Kitchen. I have a good recipe here tonight for you and before I get into all that, I just wanted to give you an update on mom. She is out of the hospital and she is recovering nicely, a little slowly, but she's getting better day by day. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> all right, so tonight we're making chicken fajita nachos and uh, they're pretty dang awesome. So hold on to your hats and your taste. Now a lot of people know how to make nachos. A lot of people don't. I've had a lot of requests for this, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. But I'm gonna do it my way. Um, it's real easy to open up a can of refried beans. Throw them on the stove, heat them up. I don't like the taste of refried beans from a can. I know that sounds weird. So I'm gonna start out by making my own refried beans. Taking a whole can of pinto beans with the juice them in pot. Then I'm going to take a potato masher. And just mash them up. Sorry for the noise. And then I'm going to add spices to them. This way I get to control the spice level in my refried beans and they're really easy to make. Now, the fun part about making nachos is you can put whatever you want on them because they're your nachos. I was having a craving for chicken fajita nachos, so that's what I'm making. Right. You can do steak fajita nachos, you can do shrimp, you can do taco meat, you can do vegetables. You can do whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of seasoned salt, a lot of black pepper because, you know, I like the black pepper. Probably add about a teaspoon. We're going to add a dash of garlic. Ground cumin, one of the secret ingredients. That one I'm adding a teaspoon. And then just for a little dash of extra flavor, some chili powder, about a quarter teaspoon. Then, you know, I keep onions chopped in the fridge. Scoop some out, put them in. Stir it all up. I know that's so hard. I'm just kidding. For some people it is. But, you know, hey, um, as you can see, I've got a lot of cheese here. Because, you know, nachos. They're supposed to be ooey and gooey and just tons of cheese. Um, I was going to make homemade avocado and guacamole. But the avocados at the store weren't looking too good. So I'm going to start off with this holy guacamole. Use that as a base and make that. Now, I've also got the deep fryer warming up because I'm making my own chips tonight. A lot of the chips you buy at the store are too thin and they get soggy really quickly. So I'm gonna be making my own chips, showing you how to do that. And I'm using just some store-bought pre-seasoned chicken fajita meat. This is uncooked, so I will be cooking it. And we'll be starting all the assembly. Sounds like a lot of work, it's really not. It's just a little bit of time consuming doing the chips, but they go pretty quickly. So stick around and hope you enjoy. So these are the refried beans after I've already got them mashed and added the seasonings and the onions. As you can see, they're really watery, but that's fine because I'm gonna add in some cheddar cheese. and just a little bit of pepper jack cheese too. And what that'll do is that'll thicken it all up and also add really good flavor. So let me turn that down. So your beans are basically done. They'll just thicken up as they cook a little bit longer. So my oil is now hot. I've got it at 350 degrees. I'm just gonna finish chopping up these tortillas. 
And these are just corn tortillas. You can use white corn, blue corn, whatever you want. You can even use flour tortillas. So I'm going to drop them in. Turn them around. Get my salt. Because you want to salt these as soon as they come out. Miss Thelma smells something cooking. She's already over here sniffing the floor. These really only need a minute to a minute and a half to cook. And it's so easy to make your own chips. And it's cheaper than buying them in a bag. And you can control the salt levels. So you can see, nice golden color. Just shake off the excess oil. Drop them down. Put just a little sprinkling of salt on them. And then toss them. Just to coat the salt evenly. Now I've got the chicken already cooking. Now, as you can obviously see, I've made way too many chips, but the cool thing is, just put them in a Ziploc bag, and you can snack on them when you want them. Because honestly, is there any such thing as too much chips? making sure they don't stick together. So I'm gonna get these out, salt them, and then when we come back, I'll be making the guacamole. Guacamole time. So I'm just going to peel this open. Scoop it out. You can buy the bigger packs, but I like using the smaller packs when I can't find fresh avocado because that way I don't waste a whole bunch if I don't eat it all. There we go. So just scoop this out. Now, a lot of people put cilantro in their guacamole. I don't because I don't like it. it. Tastes like soap to me. Mom loves it. It's weird. So I'm going to add in some paste picante sauce. You can add in whatever flavor you want or whatever brand. I'm going to add in some onions and this is just a quick guacamole. Dash of seasoned salt black pepper, and a little dash of garlic. There we go. Just mix it up. You know, one of the great things about being a cook and making dinner for your fam family and friends is you get to taste things as it goes. So let's give a taste with the chips I just made. Let's see? Seasoning levels. Mmm. Very good. 
So the chicken is done, the beans are done, the chips are done. I just need to finish cutting up the chicken and then we'll start assembling. And you wanna make sure your chicken is fully cooked, no pink. Because that would be bad. Now you're gonna to wanna to put your oven on broil because everything else is cooked. You're basically just putting this in there to melt the cheese and melt everything together. So. Have that out of the way. All right. Now we'll start our assembly. We've now come to the assembly phase of our nachos. I'm gonna take my chips. Now this is a great appetizer for game day. It's a great meal for the family. Everyone can gather around and just dig in. You can put whatever you want on them. Line your cookie sheet with foil. It's so much easier on cleanup. Now, we've got our base layer of the chips down. Now I'm going to spread the refried beans and just drizzle them over. You know, Jackson Pollocky kind of way. And make a big mess while you do it because, you know, that, evidently that's what I do when I cook. Mom will tell you. Yeah. But I clean it up. And again, put as much as you want on there. Just make sure that every chip has some of your refried beans. Now comes the fajita meat. And again, just sprinkle it on. It's playing with your food, it's fun. And you can get creative with your appetizers. You can use small baking sheets and cookie sheets and guests can build their own or they can tell you what to put on there if you don't want them making their own. Now I've got two types of cheeses here, a sharp cheddar and a pepper jack. Mild cheddar is good, but it loses its flavor. You need something that's really going to compete with all the other flavors you've got in here. And again, this is cheese that I grated. I don't like fine fruit grated. I know I've said it before and I'll say it again. They add potato starch and corn starch and cellulose, which is a wood pulp, into pre shredded cheese so it doesn't clump back together. And that can drastically change the flavor. It doesn't take you long to shred your own. So now I'm going to put on some pepper jack. And this is just a medium pepper jack. Yes, it's a lot of cheese, but you're filling the stomachs of a lot of people with this. Or just yourself if it's a very depressed day. I'm gonna sprinkle some onions on. You can put black olives, you can put fresh jalapenos. I'm gonna be putting pickled jalapenos on. because that's what I grew up eating and that's the taste I prefer. And if you've got people that like them really hot and spicy, you can do hot and spicy jalapenos. 
I have some friends that they know no bounds when it comes to spice, and they'll put like ghost pepper chilies on theirs. Yeah, not me. I'm a wimp. I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of the juice. A little extra flavor. Okay, so these are going in for the broiler, and they'll be out in just a few moments. Actually, a couple of minutes. Well, the nachos are out of the oven. I'm gonna let them cool just a minute, and then we'll give them a good old taste test. It's time for the taste test. So my nachos have cooled slightly. They're still molten hot. Um, I'm gonna be putting guacamole and salsa on mine. You can put sour cream, you can put a gallo, whatever you want. Again, they're your nachos. These are mine. And I know, I don't like sour cream. Don't everyone get mad at me. I don't know if you heard, but the chips held their crunch. They didn't go soggy. They've got great flavor on them. The refried beans homemade make the whole meal. So I hope you make these. Please like and subscribe to our videos and we'll be making more. Mama will be joining me soon. And we'll be making some of her recipes as well. And I'm gonna get her to try a couple things she doesn't like and she's gonna get me to try a couple things I don't like. So we'll see how that goes. So again, like and subscribe, leave us comments on what you want us to cook, and I'll be coming back with some more appetizers for you for the big day, game day. Have a great night.